Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cool Gadget Reviews. And in this video, I'm going to install two SSDs on my new B550M Mortar Wi-Fi motherboard. And these are the two SSDs I'm going to install. So these are M.2 SSDs. Um, so the first one is Samsung 970 EVO and the second one is WD Black 500 gigabyte. They're both 500 gigabyte. And yes, this motherboard has uh, two M.2 slots. So let's unbox it. I will be doing another video unboxing this motherboard and talking about its features and its specs. So I'm just going to unbox this motherboard right now. So this is my new PC build. I'm using Ryzen 5 5600G, uh, which has integrated Radeon uh, graphics. So I don't need an additional graphics card. So that's hence why I am going to install two M.2 SSDs on this motherboard. Um, so as you can see, the first one's got a heat shield on it. That's a heat shield, so uh, we're going to remove that to install the first SSD and then as you can see I'm pointing to the second SSD slot right there which doesn't have heat shield so that's what we're going to do so now I'm going to uh, unscrew the heat shield off so uh, this is basically uh, going to be my main uh, boot drive so I'm going to use um, WD Black 500 gigabyte SSD in this one, and the second slot is going to be the Samsung Evo 970. And also, um, I will be uploading another video which I'll be talking about the specs of the B550M Mortar Wi Fi and the reasons why I bought this motherboard, and also um, another video where I'm going to be installing um, Ryzen 5 500G um, CPU slash APU. Because it has Radeon uh, integrated graphics, so um, yeah. So basically, let me just uh, unbox the WD Black 500 gigabyte. And you might be thinking, um, how, what's the difference between WD Black and Samsung Evo 970? The specs are really, really close. The read and write speeds are really, really close. I think Samsung edges it on the, some of the speeds, but it's really, really close. I've done um, benchmarks on these already, and uh, they come up as outstanding. So, and it's quite cheap as well. I think the WD Black is the cheapest one. I got it for about 40 pounds here in the UK. It's probably around about $48 in the US. I might be wrong, but comment below if I'm wrong, but yeah, so you basically slot it in. Um, it's pretty easy. It's not too difficult. And you got to go one way, so. So I'm going to install a Samsung 970 in the second M.2 slot. So I'm just unboxing it right now. And this 970 EVO SSD is from my previous uh, PC build which I've kind of sold right now but I'll remove this drive and put another cheap one in there so this might have some data from my previous PC build but what I can do is uh, probably format it but I've got a feeling um, this motherboard or this new Windows that I'm going to install they might not let me access the files on the Samsung SSD but I can always format it so it's good I don't care I'm doing a fresh Windows install on the main M.2 slot SSD which is WD Black so um, yes yeah, so I have to get a small screwdriver out and just gonna screw that in there hold it down it's quite fidgety because these little m.2 screws are so tiny uh, make sure if you got a screwdriver it's kind of got a magnetic tip that always helps but uh, I don't know I just bought the screwdriver I didn't think about the magnetic tip side of things 
so yeah um right now i was gonna edit this out of the video but i did not because you know i'm not a pro and i don't want to look like you know um i just left it in there so i made a mistake so um you got a few seconds to guess what the mistake is right now guys comment below if you recognize a mistake right now um this is a proper mistake a lot of uh you know you guys out there building your PCs and stuff will make this mistake. Um, all right, I hope you commented it below. If not, I'm gonna tell you what the mistake was right now. The mistake was that that screw is already on the heat shield, guys. <laughs> so, so instead of editing it out, I thought, you know what, I leave it in there and. Uh, you will notice now I'm gonna be like trying to put the heat shield on and I'm gonna be like what the heck there's already a screw on the heat shield watch this guys so watch this so I'm here trying to figure out like what the heck I'm like what the you know what I mean? So that's it guys, so make sure uh, most of the heat shields um, already have the screw in there. So uh, yeah, I could have edited that out, but I didn't because I just want to keep it real with you guys out there. Everyone makes these little mistakes, so it's all cool. So yeah, it's going to remove that and then put the heat shield screw on. So the heat shield's got a screw in there, so oh damn it. So what I'm going to do is, at the end of this video, I'm going to upload a footage, um, basically on my task manager on my PC, basically showing you um, that both of the SSDs are working and obviously they're recognized by Windows, whatever, automatically. Uh, even my BIOS on the B550M recognized them. So I'm going to show you that at the end so in about a minute or so but anyway let's um that's basically screwed on there nice and tight and uh, they're looking amazing so next thing i'm going to install i'm um, showing you now so yeah i'm going to be installing the ryzen 5 500g which is six core 12 threads um goes to 4.4 gigahertz so i will show you this install in another video but right now let's go to my task manager on my pc okay guys so here we are in my task manager and i'm gonna go down oh no this is my sata drive so this is my second ssd the samsung evo 970 and so my c drive my boot drive is a wd black 500 gig and you can see that it's working uh, perfectly. So everything just looks great there. And that is my Samsung. Obviously that's not doing much right now because that's not my boot drive. And yeah, so you can install two SSDs um, on your motherboard. Um, yes, the speed might go down to PCIe 3.0 but I'm not really too fast um, this is what I wanted to do with this build as I don't have a GPU so this is my boot drive showing you the files in there and if you look at my Samsung these are the files from my previous um, PC build so I'm gonna delete them I'm gonna format it soon so yeah it's fine so yeah, so that's all looking great. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. So comment below guys, let me know your thoughts on this setup. Would you just come with one M.2 SSD and a couple of SATA drives? So yeah, comment below. Uh, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. It really uh, motivates me to put out more content. And until next time guys, peace out.